Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the first half of your uh, November from the 1st to 15th. So uh, we're going to take a look at what's, go uh, what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. Uh, uh, and then we'll finish off the read with the uh, outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. Apply this to your own unique situation. Okay, you can switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post uh, give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates uh, and also keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Taurus people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Taurus, let's get started. Tell me about Taurus here. Tell me about Taurus in love. Over energies for Taurus regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for... Um, for uh, the first half of their November from the 1st to 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. All right, we have the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Well, whoever this is, this is someone here who's doing really, really, really well on their own. Yeah, this is someone here who's self-sufficient. This is someone here who's abundant. This is someone here who is, you know, really successful in their career. But, you know, I do feel like Taurus, is, if this is you, I feel like you are open to love. But at the same time, you're not chasing it though, okay? Um, let's see what else we have. King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Ace of Cups. Okay, there is someone in the picture here. There is new love. This could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. And then we have the Four of Cups here and the Three of Cups. One of the things I'm getting here is that if this person does come towards you, this King of Swords, this is an individual that's quite not quite sure if they really want to be with you. They could be going out there to explore other options. But at the same time, they also, it, for them, it just doesn't feel right going out to explore other options here. Okay, if this person does explore other options, I feel like it's only going to be short-lived. Yeah, it's only going to be short-lived, uh, uh, Taurus. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Five of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Look at that. One of the things I'm getting here is that this Queen of Cups is someone here who's putting themselves first. Um, this Queen of Cups... I feel like this is you. Your career is accelerating and moving very, very, very quickly. So you're sort of like living life in the fast lane here, okay? And I feel like there are things, other things in life that is moving quite quickly for you too. Perhaps, you know, this new love situation that might move really quickly or that there is lots of communication between you and this person, okay? Tell me about this King of Swords. The Ten of Swords, okay, the Ace of Cups here, and the World. Interesting. When I get this energy, this is someone here, could possibly be an ex here, maybe. Because whoever this is, this is someone here who might have hurt you, and they're coming back around because they have an unfinished business here with you. If this is completely someone new, okay, uh, and you really have let go of an ex here and you're done with an ex, this could be someone from a past life that's coming back around and you guys are picking up or picking up things where you guys left off here, okay? Uh, or another thing I'm getting from this person is that this person, perhaps they have a military background, okay? Uh, perhaps this person was a police officer or something like that and this person does have a lot of... Um, like physical harm done to their body here, okay? So 
if that's the case, you know, this person might be coming in with, a, you know, some baggage, okay? Uh, the Four of Cups. I don't know why I'm getting this, but I feel like this person might be someone here who is, you know, maybe uh, disabled, okay? Um, uh, the uh, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What is that? The, uh, four, uh, th the Three of Cups and the Nine of Swords. You know, it seems like you ha might have a couple of options here, uh, Taurus. A King of Swords and a King of Wands. Both of these individuals have some sort of issues. I mean, we all have baggage. I mean, it's whether if these people are, you know, taking the time to handle their baggage so that they don't bleed all over you. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Yeah, you, you have this King of Wands that's ex extre extremely stressed out. This is someone that you're meeting through maybe mutual friends or something like that. Uh, one of the things I'm getting from this individual, this per person might get bored very easily. Okay, so I feel like this might not be the person for you. Uh, tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for uh, the first half of their November from the 1st to the 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Two of Swords and the Four of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, the Star card here and the Strength card. Okay, so Two of Swords and the Four of Wands. Yeah, this person is confused whether they want this or not. It could be an indication that maybe this person has unfinished business with a past lover here too. Yeah, but it seems like they're trying to move on from it or that they could be having a difficult time with a Queen of Pentacles here and the Seven of Wands. That's you right there. You know, I, I don't, I, it could, it, I mean, this, this could be a situation where, you know, there, there could be some other people involved here too. Regarding this new person, this King of Swords, maybe this person does have someone that they're thinking about here too. We have the Star card here and the Strength card, so Aquarius energy and Leo energy. It seems like, you know, I, I feel like this person can envision, you know, being in a relationship here with you. Um, you know, I feel like the connection that you have with this person, I feel like this person feels that it's really, really, really strong. But I, I do feel like, you know, I feel like this person might be pushing you away. Yeah. This person might be pushing you away. It could stem from their, you know, the pain, you know, their traumas here, a, a painful experience in the past. I, I'm feeling like more so these two kings are the same person because I feel like this person's like, I, I feel like this person has a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety. Uh, this person's always in fight or flight response. So like I said, maybe this person has a military background and has gone through something here. The two of swords and the page of cups, the four of wands here and the devil. Capricorn energy. One of the things that you might want to look out for is that this person grew up in a very toxic household. Okay, so I do feel like this person carries around a lot with them. Um, one of the things I'm getting is that this person hasn't really done anything to unpack this either. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Devil here, Capricorn energy with the King of Pentacles. We have the King to Queen of Pentacles. This is a true pair, you guys. The Seven of Wands here and the Ten of Pentacles. Someone here see prosper sees prosperity here with you, but with the seven of wands here, I feel like this you, this you, this king is blocking this out. King, uh, the star card, knight of cups, the strength card here, and the hangman. So what I'm getting is that this person's falling in love with you, but with the hangman here, they're definitely holding back. Okay, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the hangman, Piscean energy here. Outcome and advice here for Pisces regarding their love situation. What else does Pisces need to know for the first half of their November from the 1st to the 15th? Uh, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. Well, did I say Pisces? Tell me about the outcome and advice here for Taurus regarding their love situation. What else does uh, Taurus need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the first half of their November. Okay, Ace of Wands and the Six of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Wands and the Death card and the Ten of Cups, okay? Ace of Wands and the Six of Cups. Okay, so this is an X. 
Now, it doesn't have to be. Just apply this to your own unique situation. If you guys are over an ex, you're looking for new love, this could be a past life soulmate, okay? The Eight of Cups and the Queen of Wands. We have the King to Queen of Wands here, I think, right? Yeah, we do. And then the Death card and the Ten of Cups. You know, I feel like this could be a situation where it's going to take some time for you guys to really come together in a way where you guys are in, like, on the same page where there's cohesion here uh because I, i'm getting a bit of a roller coaster ride here um yeah whoever this is this is someone here who's very this is someone here who's very passionate about you here at uh, taurus uh but you know there is a sense of like you know i don't want to waste time on this you're gonna walk away but i do feel like this is gonna add some sort of growth and change to the situation here at uh, ace of wands we have the eight of pentacles six of cups here and a knight of pentacles so what's happening is that we have someone here that's willing to put in some sort of effort into this connection here. Eight of Cups, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So we have the King to the Queen of Swords. Okay, this is a true pair in Judgment, Sagittarius Energy. Let's see. Uh, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Death card, the High Priestess, the Ten of Cups here, and the Seven of Pentacles. You know, eventually we have someone here that's going to step up to the plate and they're going to want to um, take things to the next level here with you. But, you know, at the same time, I feel like you are this feminine energy. I feel like, it, you know, is it worth waiting around for this person to, you know, sort of like get their shit together, you know? Yeah, it seems like this person's a bit of a runner. Seems like this person's really guarded. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a challenging new love. But are you up for the challenge? Because I'm seeing that this can come together, you know, if you're patient enough. But, you know, at the same time, I see you walking away from this because I feel like you don't want to waste your time on it, Taurus, on this. Um, so, Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.